Hi, I'm Jale. Welcome to my channel. This is going to be a general collective reading on the 21st of June 2020, where we'll be seeing a solar eclipse just on the cusp of Cancer, as well as a conjunction with Polaris, which is the North Star, and the North Node, also uh, between one and three degrees, um, bordering on from Gemini into Cancer. Um, Gemini, sorry, Venus will also be in retrograde in Gemini as well at this point, as well as um, Pluto in retrograde, Saturn in retrograde, Jupiter in retrograde, which we have we're experiencing at the moment and also with Neptune and Mars in conjunction. Ugh. Whatever you do, there's a there's a massive breakthrough coming. Um, I mean, first of all, when you're looking at kind of Neptune in Pisces conjunction with Mars, uh, that's going to give some very strong illusions of do we want to go forward with this? Is this right to proceed with? Should we be doing this? Is this right? Do, what do we do? Are we okay? Should we, what do, What should we do? Should we hold off? Do we go? We're not sure. Should we, no, we'll wait. Well, it's going to, that's going to be the energy. You're also, because obviously you're just coming out this very dualistic energy with the sun and the moon in a solar eclipse, which is obviously very masculine, feminine, especially in Twitter. I mean, you're, you're talking about roughly, depending on where, where you're in the world, the sun is going to be in zero degrees of cancer and the north, sorry, beg your pardon, the moon is going to be in 27 degrees of Gemini with Polaris and the north node in 29 degrees. Now, anyone who knows anything about 29 degrees in astrology knows that that's wrapping up massive cycles. If you're talking about the north star with the north node, it is going to really question, do you want to go in this direction? Is Are you sure about this being the direction you want to go in? Now, I'm going to be very honest. Part of it is illusionary. Part of it is to make sure that you are picking the right decision. But part of it is to test to see if you are clear in your decision making. Because if you are having any doubt, there's going to be some spanners thrown in the works to just double check and double test and double double down everything it, it's because you've got a very dualistic em energy around Ge with gemini it's shining back any doubt you have back to you so for example if let's say for example you've got in mind a project that you want to complete and this is your goal maybe the lockdown conditions are relaxed and you're in a better position you're going to be heading towards that now because we're all in a lot of different retrogrades and don't forget this is going to be essentially kind of opposing a lot of Capricorn, which is where these Pluto, Saturn and Jupiter, you know, retrogrades are happening. It's going to make you doubt everything. Now, this is why I've been talking so much about check everything, um, karmic lessons being reviewed, because if you're not dealing with that, this is going to get shone back at you on these kind of around these areas and it is going to be not <laughs> not the nicest or the easiest transition into cancer season don't forget 21st of june is also the first day of summer um it is the uh, officially the first day of summer um it is also known the gemini and cancer cusp is actually known as the cusp of magic. I'm not sure if you're aware of that, but that this is essentially when this is going on. So whatever you do, if you have for 20 odd or 30 odd years wish for something and then around that, that time you're thinking, oh, maybe it isn't what I want. Be careful because you're bringing that in. Because don't forget, you're in a position with this whole collective here where we are transitioning into a fourth, fifth dimensional energy, which is essentially where there is no dualistic energy of the light and the dark, the shadow and the light, the masculine and the feminine. It is all very on one level. It is all very much of a higher vibrational frequency because we're having to transition out of this three dimensional energy that we're in, this muggle world. There is a very strong dualistic energy of wrong and right, you know, dark and light, um, evil and good. You know, unfortunately, that's the reality we are finding ourselves in. In order to transition out of that, there has to be a joining together and a purge. And in order to purge this out, decisions have to be made and choices have to be made and, and movement has to happen. OK, 
when there is movement and choices made, obviously you're determining a timeline, a future timeline that you're placing yourself onto. But by doing that, you're also removing other elements from your life. So, for example, if you're because obviously we're purging the more the lower vibrational energy, which is the shadow side and this the more lower vibration frequency of the planet that's going to be reflected back on you because it's asking you to re remove the la latter stages or the last parts of that in order to progress forward to the next part of your journey. That's how it's designed. It's not designed to sit there if you've had a dream for 20 years and go, oh my goodness, suddenly now it's telling me don't do it. If anything, it's, it's checking to see, do you really want this? It's not saying, it might not necessarily be saying, no, don't. Now, obviously, if you've just had an idea that's come into your head and you've done no research about it, then it might be the case that it is telling you not to do it. But obviously you have to use your discernment, okay? So use your own inner instincts. Um, it's not to say that everything that you're going to be picking up around that time is wrong. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying you must discern. You must use very strong discernment. Usually from where I'm looking at here, this is going to be a mirroring to see and check. Do you really want this? Are you sure? Because you're about to transition to a different stage and it's asking you, Again, it's a. T I mean, look, we're we're on a timeline jump, and this this energy here is not just going to be for now. This is going to be for next year. You're determining you're at least one year ahead, if not longer. Pro they're saying a lot longer. There's actually a very. This is a large timeline jump. Um, they're just saying it hasn't been seen for a while. Now I'm going to be really honest with you, but they're giving me the, the year 2012 in my head. Now I'm going to be really honest with you. I don't know what you guys were doing around 2012, but for me, at the time, it seemed very insignificant, okay? But looking back, there was a very strong parallel to now. There's a very strong parallel to now. There is something about 2012 and this energy that is giving me, it's like a, it feels like a parallel type of energy. So what I want to suggest here is, before we go into the cards, which I'm going to be using the Queen of the Moon Oracle and the Mystic Monday's Tarot deck, we must use discernment and check, is this for me? Because we're going to be manifesting and it's essentially where we're shedding a part of our three dimensional elements, which is a very dualistic light and dark side. And we need to make sure that we're shedding the right stuff, right? So when the darkness, when the shadow comes up, it's meant to be integrated as opposed to when we are ignoring the shadow side, we're giving it power. And this is asking us to integrate it. So if you're having things coming up, and it's causing doubt and it's asking, it's telling you just, you, you're thinking, oh my goodness, it's telling me I'm doing something wrong. Everyone's situation is going to be different, but it's asking you to do to feel something differently. It's asking you to have faith. It's asking you to believe in yourself. That's the main energy. But let's have a look what else the cards have to say for this energy here for the 21st of June and Polaris with the North Node. Wow. Okay, so this is the Void. This is the dark moon, okay? So whenever you're talking about a void, this is something that is a mass of energy. That is a polarising energy because obviously it's the opposite of... I mean, look, the void, it gives an illusionary energy that there's nothing there, but there is something there. So don't, again, be careful. Bottom of the deck is trust. We need to make sure we're using discernment here. Egg moon, something is being birthed. Be very careful. Cho be very careful what you're choosing to birth from this energy. Are you choosing doubt and potentially a continuation of a cycle, or are you choosing to close out a major cycle? We've also got here bottom of the deck balance, where it's asking you to. I'm just hearing trust your instincts. You must trust. This is why when I'm asking you to cultivate your meditation practice and your self care practice and your integrating your shadow work and doing your child work. It's for these type of occasions when, because this is the way I'm getting it. You're so close to a breakthrough um, and a major one. So you've had probably lots of different little mini ones and you're thinking, is this ever going to end? We're in a shift and whenever we're in this shift, we have to, we have to wait for a collective body to move with us. So it's going to be lots of little different moves, but there's going to be other moves or other changes which are going to be larger. This is a larger change. This is a large influential change. So if you're sat there going, oh my goodness, I can't deal with any more of this. I'm going to be real. You you chose to incarnate in the wrong time. You, you, you messed up because this is a lot of why we're here. Just like I said, it's how you view it. If you're sat there thinking, oh, I want to be here. I just want to do this. Again, if you want to be putting that energy out there, as much as sometimes I can totally relate and agree with you, we've got to be mindful of what we're trying to manifest, even if it's very difficult. 
we've got to be very careful there's a growth expansion here behind this this is not again this is not meant to to be hurting people or making people feel awful this is to transition us into a better area because we need to be in a better area we you know we've got we've got a collective we've got some good people and we've got some not so good people so we need to all be in the same space in order for sh change to happen and this is part of it can be mi mindset can be emotional can be spiritual but uh, you know if we're all doing our own work then at some point there's a tipping point where things change and this is it okay so spirit what can you tell us please for 21st of june 2020 with the solar eclipse in gemini polaris conjunction with north node transitioning into cancer actually the north node is actually crossing polaris it's crossing the sun and the moon the north node is crossing the sun and the moon you're going to have insights flashes of insights about what you're here to do very much so around that day so obviously we're going to be starting the june astrological series um it'll be thursday this week that's when june's june's going to begin i haven't decided if i'm going to split the month yet i might do first part of the month second part of the month but i feel like my guides want me to do that but we'll we'll decide we'll decide on the day because they haven't so they keep changing their mind we're in gemini season so everyone's arguing different things um guide wise so with polaris polaris is actually following the sun and the moon and it's transitioning past the north node you're going to get a very strong insight into what you're here to do you're if you're confused about your soul mission if you are confused about your soul mission work this is going to alleviate and especially if you are confused in general areas this is going to really alleviate some clarity um in a lot of different areas it's like you're going to be looking at people differently. Wow. You're going to be looking at people differently. You're going to be feeling about things very differently and understanding things in a certain way as well. Ten of Pentacles. There is an energy here that's building up into to accumulate uh, a very strong. I don't know why, but I'm seeing grapes with this. Grapes are obviously, you know, you, ma you make wine with grapes. It's abundance. This is, um, grapes are usually associated with prosperity. In the Roman times, they would feed the grapes, didn't, wouldn't they? They would, um, they, it's a very, what's the word? Um, a lavish lifestyle type of energy. It's, I'm hearing rewards. I'm hearing rewards. We've also got bottom of the deck, the Empress. I'm hearing rewards. I'm going to be real honest with you. If you have been in lockdown with some absolute, <laughs> with some absolute wallies, this is the only way I can say it. Mm -mm. This is going to be interesting because there's a uh, someone's re they're reaping either reward or not so good reward here someone was observed there's been an observation do you remember when i again i've been talking about this since how long august last year where there's a karmic reset and how april is going to be a very strong transitional month be very careful how you're doing things i did the 2020 review where i did pick a card and people were obviously picking you know and we saw between april and august there's going to be a very strong transition transitional energy well slap bang in the middle of this is this date slap bang in the middle this is the tipping point okay this is the accumulation of of it all it is like spirit have been ob observing how have you been treating people how have you been acting how have you been spending your time what did you do in lockdown did you help other people were you mindful of others needs were you supportive of others needs how did you help them if you did help them what did you do if i'm gonna be real if you were the world's most selfish human being on the planet there is going to be some level of awareness with this where there is something being mirrored back to you if you were a very mindful individual that was trying to get the head down and get on with it this is also going to be mirrored back at you it's like you're on this tipping point where you're about to transition into this new energy and it's either it, do you know what I mean? it's like room 101 it's like you're either going to heaven or hell it's it feels like this but no one's it, and it's like it's not a physical death because obviously then you would be transitioning into a different area it's a it's a metaphysical death there's a metaphysical change here 
that is tr allowing you to transition into an upgrade or you're having to it's like snakes and ladders having to go back down the snake to start back at zero it's exactly that energy bottom of the deck king of swords knight of swords this is going to be very obvious it's going to be made very obvious bottom of the underneath that the moon very strong clarity here moon is about the emotions obviously it rules the emotions um it can be about illusionary energy this is going to cut through every if you've been sat and a lot of my readings have been talking about this last month or so about up down and no one knows what they're doing and we can't decide what we want to do and how do we do it and what do we want to do and how do we do it and what do we this is going to be like a part it's like the, the the sea has parted and there's a, a very strong vision or a path into the direction of where people need to go and look this is preparing you for some hard work uh i'm not gonna lie this is about to transition into i wouldn't sit here and go oh oh this summer's going to be such a, a you know walk in the park it's going to be applying things or uh, energy that you think you've mastered to allow you into a, a put this way this summer is going to be very busy there's going to be an, a very industrial energy of, of around summer um is this this way the other way yeah and what about this one you want it this way wow three of wands making plans for the future this is a stepping stone there's there could be a three-part process to this again because we've got three months in the summer it could be that around the july or september time through the next three months you are going to be laying the foundations of this idea it's like you almost get this idea you get this kind of clarity in your dream and your vision you're going to see it for itself and um you'll be you'll be utilizing the next three months in order to build upon that we've also got here the wheel of fortune in the reverse I'm going to be very honest with you. The way this is coming through to me is, is that as you get this clarity, the blessing is the clarity. The blessing is the clarity. June, July, August. I want to say, hang on. So June, July, August. So I'll be September. It'll be the autumn equinox exactly three months afterwards where this has a potential to totally change. So it's like, I feel you're going to get an opportunity to do three months of work based on this vision that you've got. And so the idea is to put a lot of hard work into that. Obviously, we'll be breaking it down as, as, as we go into the months to ensure that people understand this. Um, but around the autumn equinox, around the September time, June, July, August, September, yeah, the end of September is going to be when the fruit of the labor is evolving into an actual physical manifestation. And it's interesting. We've got a very usually spring is when you plant the seeds and then you get the, the the crop in summer we're one season behind it's almost like you've planted the seeds in spring summer there's a pause because of this whole transition so it's not going to be into autumn until the seeds change now there's a reason for that there's a it's not just because everyone's behind we're transitioning to three dimension from three dimension to fifth dimension onwards and so we need to shift out of this dualistic energy into a more evolved uh, you know a conscious awareness it's not just about that this is on a larger scale um about a, a, this is the atmosphere okay how do we even put this into words this is not just on a macrocosmic level within our own environments that this is happening. This is not just happening on a world scale. This is a universal energy. OK, as you've noticed, I've been doing starseed readings. There's no coincidence with that either. As much as we need a balance here and to look at, a, you know, a very small snapshot and then build into a wider perspective. We sometimes need to go to an even wider perspective in order to get a whole balanced picture. I'm Sagittarius Ascendant, so <laughs> hence why I can do that and why I do do that it's not just about the detail sometimes it's about objective point of view as well for me when i'm looking at this it's big changes but there's a weather change it's a world change it's a seasonal change it's it's like where you would because the weather's going to be insane it's going to be it's going to feel like we're going to just have a very insane kind of energy around the the weather um Obviously, there's a lot of talk about the North Pole and the South Pole flip. There's a lot of talk about parallel um, universes. We are in Gemini North Node. We can expect anything. 
we have to expect anything right now and that's on every level okay which is why we're seeing this since the beginning of 2020 this very strong <laughs> insane energy <laughs> you have <laughs> this is the other thing i want to say you wait until 2021 <laughs> Because if you think this is weird, this is the, I'm not going to lie, this is going to happen. You've got a year and a half of, of Gemini North Node. There's going to be very, expect the unexpected. Um, but for the interim and between now and obviously what June beginning, you know, June 21st is kicking off is you industrious energy and how you're implementing that energy onto this earth plane on a practical level and how it's being reflected to you in order to learn. That's essentially what this energy is telling you. Well, that that uh, that came and went very quickly. Okay, let's have a look. Wow, wow. Okay, let's see if we can get a doubt. There's a I need to get this message right. Okay. Okay, several messages coming through here. It's, there's a lot of very, this is not earthly energy, this is more um, universal energy, and I've got to make sure I'm grounding because this, there's about 100 messages coming through right now, and I'm like, um. oh wow. Okay, so first card, let's begin. First card is the star. Okay, so this is very strong Aquarius energy, but this is obviously also marking a very strong universal type of energy that I was mentioning. And we've got the Ace of Pentacles. There's an offer here. There's an offer here. There is, this is the marker point. This is the marker point of what you choose to do at this point is going to influence everything. That is, I mean, this is a huge huge choice and decision coming up huge choice and decision coming up first of all this is clarity this is insight this is a, a physical you're probably going to get some kind of physical awareness of something this is healing this is an offer of awareness or offer of hope or offer of fu a future kind of offering could be you could be getting or landing a contract there could be a strong offer coming into you that is going to secure your future as well. That is also not a possibility. Um, but we've also got here the five of wands and the five of pentacles. Again, this is a very dualistic energy. We've got on the one hand people fighting and arguing and losing out, feeling like they're losing out. This is a very dualistic, more lower vibrational energy. And on the other side of the coin is going to be healing, offers, abundance. Do you remember when I said about how deter it's going to determine what you've done is going to determine exactly what you're you're working towards this? There's a door here, but it's being blocked. You're being blocked. If again, the choices that were made beginning when all this lockdown happened, if you made some very maybe slightly low vibrational choices, maybe there was, you know, just you weren't considerate, maybe. There is going to be a block. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, let's say, for example, you were mindful of others. You tried to help best you, ca you could. You uh, There was a hope being offered. Um, you were trying to provide hope to others. You were trying to help others. You were trying to be mindful, even if it was just to go and do, even if it was a, a voluntary position you did. Anything that was considerate of other people, there is a blessing here. Now, with the start and the Ace of Pentacles, this is a manifestation of a wish, all right? Now, is it an old wish? Yes. Can it be a new wish as well? Yes, that's that's the, the thing. This can be anything you want it to be. This can be absolutely anything you want it to be in terms of manifestations, but this is what this is essentially what's waiting. Now, like I said, is it gonna be immediate? It depends on what you wish for. If it's a, you know, a more longer term thing, you're gonna start seeing the effects of that around the three month period, as I mentioned. If you, were sneaky or disrespected people or w weren't respectful or just had a lower vibrational energy to you where it was all about you we've got two fives here five of wands five of pentacles there's change but i'm not seeing it's <sighs> 
this on the right hand this here is blocking that doorway can you see there's there's holes where this is going and the person's looking the other way they're being distracted so again if you've done everything you can in your power to try and support this energy this is not for you this is possibly people around you that maybe have caused you issues caused you problems while you were trying to help or trying to be supportive this is the general collective that would have been you know a bit selfish in terms of the around the lockdown period and the quarantine period these are the people that wouldn't have respected anyone's wishes um it's not good do you remember when we first went into lockdown and i said just be really mindful you do everything as if you're just do everything treat everyone as, as you wish to be treated there are going to be a group of people here that are going to find out that that was very real and the people that have, have tried oh that nearly set a light the people that um that tried to do their best and that were trying to be respectful this is again you'll be you know a wish fulfillment that is being granted here king of cups this is the feminine energy it could be a father figure could be a mother figure to take the sex as it resonates it could be scorpio cancer or pisces this is someone who's mastered the emotions um i'm seeing a flow of energy here a flow of abundance that is coming through um I'm just hearing emotional fulfillment, an author of emotional fulfillment that is, is owed. Can you see he's holding that cup? He's bearing the cup ready, bottom of the deck, King of Swords. So again, something's being, sorry, something's being granted that um, someone's been waiting a long time for possibly and all recently manifested. Now we've got the King of Wands. So we've got the King of Wands, the King of Swords, the King of Cups. So King of Wands is fire, King of Swords is air, King of Cups is water. So we've got emotions, thoughts and action. The only thing we haven't got is a pentacle. We haven't got the King of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, Five of Cups. Again, it could be that you are very close to getting a love offer. Here. If you are in that energy, if it's not a love offer, it could be, like I said, receiving a very strong offer or, oh my goodness, look, wild that closed out this is something is closed portal closed oh my goodness bottom of the deck ace of cups so we've got the king of wands the, uh, the king of swords the king of cups right three masculine energy doesn't have to be masculine take it as it resonates can be feminine as well so the all signs apart from taurus virgo capricorn but this is energy of a manifestation that Why do I feel like this is, it's interesting, this feels to me like Aquarius, Pisces and Aries, but we don't have Taurus, which is King of Pentacles. So have a look at what happened to you around the 19th of to 20th of April, up until around the 21st of May. If you were treated very badly around those dates or something happened, there is a recompense. There is a something is owed. All right. Which is, again, an earthly energy that's coming through. Now, interestingly, the cup that he's carrying. That energy of the emotional fulfillment that he's carrying. Obviously, we've got the world that's wrapped up a closure of something. And again, don't forget. Pisces into Aries season is a closure of a cycle and Aries is a brand new beginning. Do you know what it feels like to me? Why do I feel like the world is trying to show us that we're, you know, when we have, we've got the Gregorian calendar that obviously it's like the earth rotation. It, 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 there's a shift in that and it's, it's throwing off all of the, the measurements of the rotations it's, it's we can't i don't think we need to i think measuring time is is definitely being called into question here but can you see the world it's like there's it's something about the the shifting of the world and the, this parallel the universe that nasa has been talking about and because look we've got the ace of cups here as well there's an offering of a new beginning out of nothing it feels to me like 
there's a wrapping up or a closure of burdens. Yeah, look. Can you see here? The King of Swords and the King of Wands are all staring to their right. And it's weird because how the cards came out and how I put them out was like this. It's like they're all staring at the King of Cups. There's an emotional offer that's waiting to come through. But it was like, depending on what your reactions were and how you were dealing with things, how big it is, is dependent on what happens from sort of airy season up until now. And it's like, this is coming, but based on how your reactions were, what you did is going to determine what you get. This is, I mean, if there were ever a form of karma that is being very deliberately sowed right now, it's this. So pay attention for people around you. Not because you're being nosy, but because you're going to you're gonna get to witness a lot of karma that's playing out. You're going to end up being like, it's going to play out on the ground. And this is not just in personal situations. This is going to be in, in a lot of different, even publicly. You're going to see people getting schooled public, publicly, very publicly. And you, if you ever at any point doubted karma existed, it's going to be very clear to people. Because I'm all I'm seeing is just school, people getting schooled left, right and centre. And people going, that doesn't exist. And well, I don't care what I do. You know, who's going to hold me to account? Mm, well, the big man upstairs, the big woman upstairs, the freaking, the, you know, Stay Puft Marshmallow upstairs, whoever's upstairs that is overseeing this is observing everything. And unfortunately, you're going to now have to like you know unfortunately for some not all because some people have done what they can it's going to really depend okay let's pull some oracles here i'm going to go with the starseed or wow no no please don't pull out okay we're going to go with the starseed oracle here let's see the messages 21st June 2020 from Solar Eclipse, Polaris, North Node, 21st of June 2020, what exactly is happening here? Spirit, what is the outcome, please? What is the outcome? What is this? Yeah, I'm just hearing you reap what you sow. What is the outcome, please? 21st of June, 21st of June. And can I just say, if you've been sending things upstairs to Spirit and you're like, why is nothing happening? Oh, don't you worry. There's a queue going on. There's a queue system. Don't you worry about that. Trust. Off bear. Look, this just says it all. Weight of the world. Boundaries. Let it go. It's not yours to carry. 100% send it upstairs. This person is being an arsehole. I'm going to send it upstairs. Spirit, over to you. I trust and have faith that you will deal with this in an appropriate manner. I no longer have to deal with the repercussions because I'm not in charge of dishing out karma. Send it upstairs. I send it up to you, Spirit, in order for you to deal with this effectively as possible as per the, the universal law. Trust me. And this is the thing. You can send it up multiple times. It just means it's in a queue system. And, and I'll be real honest with you. My awareness of how this works is, is that... If you're doing everything you can and you just had a little slip up, there'll be an immediate karma. You'll be able to see it. If it's a big boo-boo, oh, you better know there's there's something brewing, especially if someone's not learning. Yeah. I'll be real honest with you. Uh, wow. Deep cellular healing. Victorious energy, physical and emotional healing. Look at that. That's. I'll be honest with you. This feels very Akashic Records type of energy here. This is like a portal that is being you're being led into. Um, from this previous, like I said, this kind of energy of you reap what you sow. It's like look around you, how are you, you know, how are you treating other people, into the final stages of when things are are actually finally manifesting into something. So again, you're very close into a very strong shift of energy, but it's not going to be something like oh my goodness, it's back to the way we are. It's going to be different, but it's like there's a wrapping up of something that you've carried possibly from every season. Bottom of the deck cracked open rock bottom surrender to the alchemy of life whatever you do at this point don't forget what i said don't sit and be like i'm gonna take matters into my own hands i'm gonna do whatever you do even if you are pushed to your limit 
and I'm going to have to listen to this advice as well because uh, clearly this is not just I'm not you know mean to this so I'm going to have to listen to this as well um, you're going to probably get pushed if some of you have had a bit of a tough ride with this quarantine situation and there's been things niggling at you you're going to get I'm going to be real just whatever you do don't let anyone bait you because this don't don't fall into that trap don't fall into that trap because you know what it's going to it's going to alleviate them by you doing that you want to you want to be letting don't don't get your hands dirty I'm telling you now when I say stuff like that people are like oh what a sneaky person no I'm just not stupid <laughs> I'm just unfortunately I've been around to, here long enough to understand how this works like I'm just not an idiot wow look exactly big picture thinking palladies energy visionary inspired ideas don't forget these ideas that you're going to be understanding towards your mission work all right make sure that you're not getting distracted again more distractions with this low vibration energy is it something deliberately designed to distract you so you're throwing off your vibration so you're not on track quite possibly yes which is even more reason don't get too sucked into that if you have and also if you need to remove yourself from people places things don't apologize for it chances are you're on you, there's a reason for it so if it means it's distracting you from what you're doing no just get rid in my opinion but obviously trust your instincts wow people are gonna st guys you're gonna start remembering what you're here to do this is insane i remember soul plan the fated life versus the destiny oh my goodness guys this is about wow what why do i feel like i was panning out to there and then there's something above it's like she's giving birth to this this pool of energy but something's given birth to her something's over here to, now this is not a puppeteer or anything creepy this is like the universe trying to birth you and what you're here to do wow that that's insane guys trust and if you don't trust then i think you're going to be getting some signs in terms of where you're supposed to be going all right so just pay attention to that kind of very up down energy right well, let's say final cards here 21st of june please wow culmination of vision don't let anything distract you at this point this is a very can you see clear focus she's overlooking the view and then the higher perspective is she's now looking at the butterflies and then the even higher perspective is she can see all things she's at the same you know vision of the butterflies the transformation energy she's at that point she can see through that point so she can see past that point of what happens after the transformation so this is about looking at it from a bigger picture don't get sucked into the smaller details that maybe don't matter or are karmic or are low vibrational or are things that you, you already know like for example the abc's like you know arguing with people that are trying to suck you into an argument to try and draw your energy out or the energy of vampires or anything that is causing you to lower your vibration don't i wouldn't even be entertaining it i wouldn't be entertaining it even if it's family members don't entertain it because they just want this is the thing sometimes you're getting you get car you'll get family members that are your karmics to throw all kinds of spanners in the works okay it's not easy because it what it means is that you have to try and learn very strong forgiveness energy but also navigate through your own path it is possibly in my opinion one of the most painful things to have to learn if i if i'm being totally honest with you because the nine times out of ten you can have strived for your you know making everyone sort of get the best out of this they possibly can but there's always possibly an energy that's trying to draw you back into it or sucker you down fight fight to remove yourself from that okay even if you're around it 24 7 go within that your peace you can always find your peace within okay if you are not in the immediate vicinity of this individual or individuals then do what you can to maintain your high vibration because this is going to be so important this is a test it's all a test all right don't let people that are too afraid to change their life pull you in because that's essentially what it is it's people that don't want to shift they don't want to change they don't want to move forward they don't want to understand they don't want to see they don't want to do anything because it's fear we're all scared of something but it doesn't mean to say we inflict that pain on other people is it so 
like I said, don't get suckered into it. It's easier said than done, but don't get suckered into it. Wow. Wow, wow. Look at this card, it's stunning. Final card, acceptance of love. Wow. One with the earth, one with the energy, one with the abundance, one with what has been provided, one with what is surrendering and just allowing things to naturally happen. This is a very natural energy, acceptance of love, keeping yourself open, open to every endless possibility because that's when the abundance comes. Okay, guys, this was your reading for the 21st of June. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you for watching all your likes. Shares and subscriptions means a lot to me. If you want to be in for a chance of winning a 30 minute free reading when we hit a thousand subscribers and the Tara Neferati tarot deck, please like the video, subscribe, and also make sure that you're putting a comment into the description box for a chance to win. We're gonna be picking a, a winner at random when we hit a thousand subscribers. And if you wanna join our Facebook spiritual support group, link is in the description box below. If you want a personalized reading, information is also in the description box below. Take care, have a wonderful evening, day, month, wherever you are. Until next time, live tomorrow will be 8pm British Standard Time on Facebook. Until then, bye.